Hi, welcome to Phoenix Auditing. This is uh, Prabhu Salvaraj here, your host for the day. So I've been always uh, telling stock Phoenix, stock Phoenix. For a change, uh, today I'm telling <coughs> stock Phoenix Auditing. So yes, that's a brand of stock Phoenix. We've uh, launched a last financial year. It's going to be having a load of business uh, starting from this financial year. So what is this video all about? Uh, many of you guys know that we have launched some feature in last financial year and many of you are using it. Now, uh, we have did a little bit of enhancement in this product in the solution, technology solution. So I would like to discuss a short on this particular video. Video gonna be very short, so uh, don't worry that it will take too much of time. It will be a short video. I will try to cover uh, as early as possible. Right, so coming to that part, let's talk about this. So now this is a uh, feature is going to be helpful most of the traders and investors who basically file ITR three, right? So what is ITR three? It is uh, basically a, a business income, a business people who files ITR, which is called as uh, ITR three. Salaried individuals file ITR one, a business people file ITR three, and uh, exception for those. Uh, uh, or citizens who are into stock market also can file ITR 3. That's one thing which you have to keep it in the mind. So if you are into stock market trading and investment, if you're trading in futures and options, you are supposed to default file ITR 3. The awareness of this is very less in the market. Uh, of course, we are keep uh, bringing this awareness wherever it could possible. We'll be doing in a larger scale from uh, next month onwards. Now. So please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. So in case if you if we publish one more video, you'll get an alert instantly, right? That is one. And now when filing ITR three, what is the major difference between ITR one and ITR three? ITR one, you have a specific amount of investments or the expenses to be done on each section. But ITR three is something where you're allowed to put your business expenses, which having a valid bill for income tax claim as expenses. For example, you are trading in stock market, you attended some training for your stock market learning. For example, you paid money for stock prints, which you got a bill from us. So that bill also claimable in your uh, while filing income tax. So if you have got a profit of one lakh rupees in this financial year, so you can say that I've paid 30,000 rupees for learning stock market course from stock finance. I'm deducting 30,000 rupees out of it. I'll be paying tax only for the rest 70,000 rupees. So straight away, you'll be saving a tax of around 9,000 rupees depending upon your tax into pocket, which which comes on each and every individual. So now uh, very one valid question is how we can claim this benefit. So you have to file ITR 3, which I've already told. So when you file ITR 3, it can't be done by yourself. It has to be done by a professional CA. If it goes for a tax audit, you have to prepare a penal statement, your balance sheet, and you have to do a digital signature. A lot of things are involved into it for filing ITR 3, just not, not like that. ITR one we do, right? So now uh, while filing this, when you approach the auditor, auditor will simply say, "Okay, sir, give me a form stay form sixteen from your company, and give me your uh, uh, any other incomes what you have got from stock market or losses which you got from stock market. You can give your uh, your uh, the broker's terminals uh, penal statements which can be downloaded directly, and we can push it to auditor. And auditor will also tell you to give me the bills." What are the bills like expenses you have done in terms with stock market uh, or any other expenses bills you have done for the last one financial year? Give me a set of those things. I'll try to file, uh, file, uh, claim all the expenses for filing taxes and uh, we'll pay the uh, tax for the rest pending amount. So when the auditor asks this question, are we everybody uh, stops where I have kept my bill? How much I have spent for what? Do I have record? Do I have a soft copy of the bill? Do I have a hard copy? Where do I pull it? Where do I consolidate it? All those questions will come at big question to your mind. And yes, many people file this. Many people keep it very, very, very religiously all the bills, but majority people does not. If you take including me, don't keep any of these uh, things on a uh, single place. Now, being a company, uh, we drive uh, technology to the best, to the best possible ways. So we thought, why don't we bring out some solution for these things, which nobody is providing as of now. 
I guess no one is providing in anywhere in the India this service what we are providing it. So what we thought, can we get a some feature where if I spend some thousand rupees for putting filling up my petrol, I should be able to get that bill from the petrol bank and record it then and there. So record it then and there. I don't want to get them a bill, come to the home, scan it, put it into some folder, keep a hard copy of bill. No, because if you are keeping hard copy of this bill, petrol bill, it will get faded away when the days goes on. So there's some solution where whenever I spend something, I should be able to record there instantly and put in a systematic way which can be helpful to save taxes when I'm going to file a next financial year or assessment year, whatever you call it as. So, and that is the one solution we are looking at. That was a problem statement, I would say. The only solution which I could find out is the mobile. So nowadays, whenever somebody spends something, it will be paid via paytive wallets or any other wallets or mobile or card, whatever it cash, but still your mobile will be at your hand. The one accessible technology, which at that point of time is mobile, and we want to leverage this technology to get these things down. So what is it all about? So what, what simply you're supposed to do is when you spend something, you went traveled or you paid a uh, thousand rupees for your, uh, fill your gas for your uh, vehicle, when you get the bill, take a photocopy of it and file it immediately, instantly. You don't need to worry about the hard, soft copy, hard copy of the bill. You have a record of your soft copy with the bill and the date and the time and the price, and it will be recorded systematically, digitally saved, for you so that whenever you're filing your returns, it can be retrieved. So this was a solution what we got for that solution. The solution for that is we are launching a Phoenix auditing bot. In fact, it has been launched last year with the dry run and a lot of people are using it internally. Now we are launching the public overall because database is big now. We have made a lot of advanced uh, uh, technology. We are shifting the bot to a high speed servers, which will be done a week's time. But however, the, the, as of now, the server it's still the, running in the old server. So you might uh, get some latency issue while using it. Need not worry about it. It will be done short period of time. Now coming to that, so this is a bot which can be accessed from your smartphone, having a normal internet. Take a bill, upload it to the bot. The bot will save you all your bills in a systematic manner. It will give you back. You can download and retrieve bills whenever you need so this is the feature what we have developed it is completely fully automated no manual intervention is there so let's go to the demo of the bot right let's go demo of the bot so uh, so when you log into the bot the let me uh, tell you that our channel name is phoenix auditing if you go click on this it will lead to a phoenix auditing channel i have a lot of videos has been uploaded over here so please go and watch these videos which talks about idea three uh, filing. So the bot is Phoenix auditing bot. You click on this, it'll have this kind of a screen. You have to start the bot or restart the bot if you already started the bot. It will give you the options like this. Welcome back stock, your uh, name, your mobile number, your email ID and your city. So first let's update the details. There's a unique ID which you get for yourself linked with your telegram. This unique ID cannot be changed we're going to map you cannot change this you don't have option to change this there's a one unique id mapped with your mobile number completely so we're going to track all your databases details using this unique id only so let's go to the my profile in your first name last name is there i'm going to edit the mobile number right for example i'm going to put some mobile number of uh, 9 Right, update it. Let me update my email. So I would say support at the rate gmail.com. Right, some email ID I gave. System has took it. So make sure you give your right email ID. And let me also update my city. Done. So now if you go back to my home, it gives you like this. So I have four options. Upload bills, summary, my profile help. So my profile, we completed it. Summary, nothing will be there because I have not updated anything in the bot. Now let me click on upload bills. So what it says, it shows you that uh, you have not made taken a subscription. 
the subscription for this service for the entire financial year is 1000 rupees so when you make a payment of this 1000 rupees you get a bill from our side so you can upload the bill back to the same bot as expenses spent for purchasing of this bot services for which 300 rupees will be returned back to you on so on a net we are charging 700 rupees for this entire services for one year to the date of your activation so once you're uh yes i want to take the services click on this make payment option it'll take to a payment option for you right it'll go to raise a payment option you can proceed to payment for it you can use your any credentials and maybe i will use my support id itself done so proceed so it asked me where do i need to make a payment what is the mode of payment so you can select your wish mode of payment so what i'm going to do i'm going to pause my screen for a while i'm going to make a payment on this where are my wallet so i'll go to my uh, any wallet whichever i would like to feel comfortable or i would like to go to my net banking i'll make a payment now so i'm going to my net banking Let me put my credentials. So I'm approving the transaction. Asking for OTP. I've got the OTP. I've submitted the OTP. Okay. So I've just made a payment of 1000 rupees from my account net banking password at banking. Now it is done. So once you make a payment, it will automatically accept your payment. You will get an email on the bill for the email ID what you've generated. Alternately, you can also ask us a copy of the bill with stock auditing, Phoenix auditing team if you have not got it. So once you make a payment, you get an instant alert that we have successfully received your payment and upload services has been enabled for you so you get these uh, eight options as of now we, we, we what we felt is the best one to do it so this is what you are, you are uh, give me a minute okay so there was a small disturbance on the internet so i just had a pause over there so eight categories which you have decided for this it will be good for you for uploading your bills okay so let me pause for a minute there is an uh, i could see the audio is in red color it is showing some disturbance maybe you may have some kind of a technical difficulties while listening to this video okay so after that all you have to do is click on any particular tab example you purchased a medical bill click on that medical 2020 and uh, i'm for the month of may and today i have purchased some bill and what is an amount i purchased for 300 rupees now all i have to do is select the bill upload the bill or take a photocopy so here i'm selecting a bill uploading it i get a confirmation that bill has been uploaded successfully under 3rd may 2020 for 300 rupees under the folder medical so if i go back and click on home i can see my summary i have one bill worth of 300 rupees so like this you can see the statistics of your uploaded bills and when you click on the click here to view files you will be taken to a secure server place where you can download all your uploaded bills 
that's pretty simple right so when you are filing your returns when you're filing your returns you just need to tell our auditors that my unique id is this my unique id maybe i will write if the audio is problem my unique id is this uh, 90244 okay please take all my expenses bills and file my returns done so your work is done right so this is the feature easy feature what we have developed at stock at phoenix auditing so uh, don't waste time it is just a starting of the month new financial year me take a most advantage of it trust me you will save lot of money with this particular bot keep uploading every bill coming into your way you need not worry about it will it get claimed or will it not get claimed it's a job of auditors to check this done thank you for uh, uh, spending your time when watching this video please do subscribe to the phoenix auditing bot do let us know at phoenix auditing team if you have any clarifications in this regards thank you for your time have a nice evening ahead thank you guys